Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for August 2020 for the sign of cancer. So before I begin, I just want to make you aware that uh, for those of you who might be new to my channel, that um, I'm offering uh, a special offer for my $77 half hour reading. Uh, is being offered for a full hour. So um, this has been going on since the pandemic and will likely be available until such time. Um, so if that is something that you would like, you can go to my um, website, theangelschool.com on the services page and you will find a, you will not find a special offer button, but you will just click on the $77 half hour. Within uh, 24 hours on a business day, I will send you a um, confirmation email indicating the full hour uh, for the special hour, the special offer. Um, if you haven't joined um, our channel, please subscribe and um, share, like. Um, also, you can go to my channel, YouTube channel here and watch the weekly um, angel readings for the week during each month. And as well, I have daily cart messages on my YouTube posts that I've written, that are written. Um, you can find them here on YouTube as well as on my Facebook page. And those links are below as well. All right. So let's take a moment to take a deep breath. And since this is the month of August, we're seeing a theme of, you know, creativity and tapping into that. But let's see what comes up for you, Cancer. And just take a deep breath and breathe really deeply into your heart space. And just allow yourself to feel the love and so, uh, so what I'm seeing is sort of this well, like a wishing well, and that's really um, sort of a positive. And but it feels um, it feels a little lonely, you know. It feels a little the energy of this. And if it, you, it feels like the, you have some concern, um, and you're praying for a miracle okay and I'm not going to get into what that might be because I really don't um, want to um, put that out there but but it seems like you're praying for a miracle of some sort and um, the the feeling is is that this is going to be a time for you to go within to really think about what it is that you want to create. So I'm sort of seeing like an Easter basket um, as well. And it's, it's these really positive things, it's sort of like there are these opportunities, um, but there is something that you're concerned about and it's causing you to miss maybe out on what these things might be so you know I mean I, I don't see anything in the Easter basket I just see a basket and I do see the letter B in it <laughs> um, and not quite sure what the letter means other than basket but I feel like it means something else um, maybe bring um, something to bring or something that you want to be brought to you that you should be focusing on what you want, not on what you're worried about. And the Archangel Raphael um, is coming through and um, it's almost like his, I just see his name written out and it's just coming towards me and moving right through me. So um, there is a sense of abundance and healing, um, even potentially love coming towards you. And um, you need, it's, it's, I get the sense like you need to allow this to happen. 
You need to allow the universe to bring this to you. Now, they're writing out the word that you're reluctant when it comes to love. That you're, um, you're cautious. You know, so that's why I feel like this energy, like you're out there wishing for something, but you're, you're, you focus on how much you're alone. And um, in this way, because you're doing that, you're, you're actually, it's, you're doing that because you are reluctant. And you say, but I don't, I'm focused on loneliness because I'm lonely. But no, because there are like little opportunities that come to you, but you, you're, you're picky. You, you see, you, you find a lot of things about them that you don't like, you know, um, and I don't know, I feel like I've seen the word compulsive. It's almost like a compulsion for you to um, have these opinions. And they really get in your way for being able to see someone for who they really are. And this, whether it's love or an opportunity, um, your, your opinions get in your way. And um, you need to, I don't know why I'm saying the word suggestion, but I guess maybe they're saying this is a suggestion. You can do what you want. Um, but try not to formulate these opinions. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Let them show you who they are. You're safe. Nothing. You're strong. And you're not going to let yourself be, you know, be manipulated or pushed around. So you, you, you'll cut somebody off very easily and very quickly you don't just give yourself away so um like you're, you're not a pushover um even if you come across nice and naive you're not a pushover you just don't have to say it you don't have to brag and you don't have to tell everybody what you are and what you're capable of doing you only need to prove that to yourself and sometimes you're you're you know you keep things to yourself because you don't feel like you have to prove. If somebody, they should see who, they should be able to see you. And so the person needs to be able to, to, to get through that layer, you know, get through that hard shell of, that you put out there and be willing to mine for you, for what you offer and the, what's inside. So at the same time, then you don't have to worry. And let, let, people, let people show you who they are before you make up your mind. Now we know you're very intuitive and you pick up on things, but give people a chance, give opportunities a chance. You might be pleasantly surprised. All right, so let's take a look at the Archangel that you'll be working with for the month in this Archangel Metatron. And the card is the dream or the fool, a leap of faith, you know? So the, you know, it's kind of telling you to take that leap of faith in this month that, that you're, you need to allow yourself to be vulnerable, to, you know, make mistakes. Don't be so on guard that you hold yourself back. And that's what I was just talking about. I feel like you hold yourself back. Um, and Archangel Metatron can, uh, okay, can really sort of help you with seeing the truth or understanding um so i feel like with archangel metatron in this situation like you know so when i see him i often see him with this book you know he's got this the re got everything recorded in this book it's like a you know everything you've done everything you know he knows he knows he understands it and so you know lean on archangel metatron to kind of um set the record straight or to to make things clear if you need it to be made clear. Let him be the record keeper because it's compassionate and it's non-judgmental. Not you, okay? Um, you know, it's a little strange for a connection with Archangel Metatron, but that's how I always see him, is with this, you know, feather uh, plume in his hand with his book, writing things down and in and, and glasses. And, um, and, and yes, he's so much more than that because he's heading our whole ascension process and et cetera, et cetera. But in this context, um, trust him that, you know, he's linking you up 
um, with the right people, you know, that he's this wise, smart, just is, just in, has a, shares a lot of the same characteristics as you, and so he's not going to let you, you know, you know, just uh, completely fall flat on your face. Okay, he's got your back. All right, let's take a look at the um, guardian angel message. And the card is the six of abundance, okay? And, you know, this is about sh sharing, um, you know, also it's a reminder of the, with the scales about that balance of energy um, that what you put out comes back to you. So what you reap is what you sow. And so what you, how you judge people is how you'll be judged. So be generous, Cancer, about how you... Um, how you how you the potential be generous in seeing the potential in others because that will be what you get back that people be generous in in seeing your potential and supporting that and amplifying that for you all right so the card says heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you an unexpected gift is on its way accept it with gratitude and humility knowing that you will have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. So this is very similar to what I was saying at the beginning, all right? And I won't even elaborate on any more because I don't want the videos to be too long. But um, this is your chance to give. Give others a chance. Open yourself to the gifts. Don't get opinionated just be open. Give the benefit of the doubt. Give the benefit of the doubt. And likewise, it will be given to you. Have a beautiful week. And God bless you. Well, have a beautiful month. And God bless you. <laughs>